Hello to everyone. Welcome to YouTube channel Statistifler. In today's session 2 of unit and measurements, these topics are going to be discussed through questions. All questions have been taken from 2023 or 24. Applicable for those. In session 1, I have discussed to develop formula using dimensions, right? You can go through that. These are all applicable for this one. Let's start the question. Match list 1 with list 2 in respect to significant figures. Before I start this question, I would like to discuss certain basic concepts. Concept application solutions. Significant figures in the measured value of real quantity tell the number of digits in which we have confidence. Larger the number of significant figures obtained in measurement, greater is the accuracy of the measurement. Now, these are the methods. All non digits are significant figures. In this case, we are having 5. A 0 becomes a significant figure if it happens between the two non zeros. This has 4 significant figures. Leading zero, the zeros placed to the left, in this case, has 1 significant figure. Trailing zero, the 0 placed to the right of the number of significant 3, 3, 6 significant. In exponential notation, the numerical portion gives the number of signal figures. In this case, we have 3. Right? Now, rounding off. Rounding off, these are the cases. Less than 5, preceding digit left unchanged. More than 5, preceding digit raised by 1. If equal to 5, and followed by other than zeros, the preceding digit raised by 1. This is the example. If digit of is equal to 5 followed by zeros, then the preceding digit is left unchanged if it is even. Right? And if the digit is to be dropped is 5 followed by 0, then the preceding digit left is raised by 1 if it is odd. Right? This is all about the rounding of the digits. You can go through that. Or signal figures in calculation. In final calculation, final result. In this case, we get Three significant figures, in this case three significant figures, in this case we are having five. The final answer will be the least of these. Least of these is three. The answer will be three. Right? Answer will be 36 points, 37. That is 30. Answer will be 36 point seven. 36 point seven. Right? Next. Two resistance are given. R1 10 plus plus minus 0.5 R2 15 plus minus 0.5 the percentage and the measure of equal resistance when they are connected in parallel. We know the formula for parallel combination 1 over Rp equal to R1 plus R2. Right? This is equation 1. Now 1 over 10 plus 1 by 15, 1 over Rp. On simplification, we get Rp equal to 6 ohm. Right? Now, from this, we can write delta Rp over Rp whole square equal to delta R1 over R1 whole square plus delta R2 by R2 whole square. Where now delta Rp will be equal to delta R1 Rp by R1 whole square plus delta R2 by R2 whole square and this is this will be Rp delta R2 right on substituting values. Delta R1. Delta R1 is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This is 0.5. This is 0.5. This is 6. This is 6. Divide by 10 and 15. 10 and 15. 10 and 15. Right? Whole square. This is whole square. On simplifying this. Now, therefore, percentage error. What you have to find out? 
the percentage error in the major order equivalent resistance. Percentage error in measurement of equivalent resistance will be equal to delta R P by delta R P that will be equal to this calculation simplification and divide by 6. This comes out to be on simplification into 100 into 100. This is the percentage error, right? On simplification, we get answer here 4.33 percent. 4. Point, this comes out to be 4.33 percent, right? This is all about the calculation of this one. Now, I think it will be clear now to you. Next question. A physical quantity P is given as this. The percentage and the measurement of ABC are 1, 2, 3, 4 percent respectively. The percentage and the measurement of quantity P, propagation of error. Basic concept is, let Z is any number, A key power M, B key power N, C key power Q. So, DZ by DN will be equal to M, DA by A plus N, DV by B plus Q, DC by C. Our ordinary terms are like this, right? Now, in this case, P is given to you A square BQ over C under root D. I think this is the so dp by b p into percent that will be equal to twice da by a plus 3 db by b plus dc by c 1 into thus plus 1 by 2 dt by d right now substituting values values. So, this is given to percentage by given. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 into 1 plus 2 plus 1 into 3 plus 1 by 2 into 4. 2 plus 6 plus 3 plus 2 that is 13 percent. That is 13 percent. Now, the answer is 13 percent. Now, next question. Question is, if G be the gravitational constant, U be the energy density, then which of the following have the dimensions of as that of UG, right? No. In this case, U is energy density. Energy density means energy upon volume. Energy means work ML2 T minus 2 divided by L3 M L minus 1 T minus 2 gravitational constant dimension. You know log G M1 M2 upon R square. Therefore, dimension G will be M L T minus 2 into L2 upon M square. This comes out to be M minus 1 M minus 1 L3 t minus 2. Therefore, dimension under root u g, dimension under root u g will be m l 2 m l minus 1 t minus 2 into m minus 1 l 3 t minus 2 whole under root. On simplification, m m goes l key power 2 t minus 4 under root, the answer comes out with LT minus 2. This is the final answer of this one. From this, we can find force per unit mass. M LT minus 2 upon M. This goes to LT minus 2. Energy per unit mass, M L 2 T minus 2 upon M. L 2 T minus 2. Pressure gradient, Pressure per unit of force per unit area m l t minus 2 upon pressure gradient per length into unit mass. This, in this case, m will be there. So, therefore, 
This is the correct answer. D is the correct option. Next question. In an expression A into 10 raised to the power B, four options are available. B is the order of magnitude. B is the order of magnitude less than or equal to 5. B is the order of greater than or equal to 5. A is the order of magnitude. In this case, B is the order definitely. B is order. Right? Now, before concluding the answer, let us have certain concepts. Order of magnitude of quantity gives us the value nearest to the actual value of the quantity in terms of suitable power of 10. Suitable power of 10 is B. The if radius of earth is 6400 kilometer, converting this into meter, then taking 6.4 as 10, size of earth is 10 to power 7. The order of magnitude of size of earth is 7. Right? In this case, B is the order of magnitude for B is the correct answer in this case, right? Otherwise, it will be raised by 1, right? Next question. The relative error in the measurement of sphere. Surface area sphere. Surface area sphere is surface area of sphere is 4 pi r square. That is s equal to 4 pi r square. Then we have to find the relative and the volume. Volume is given by 4 by 3 pi r cube. So we have to find the relative and the dv by v. That is 3 dr by r. Right? Now, to find it, we should know the value of dr by r. We can find this from here. ds by ds is given to you. That is 2 dr by r. The relative of the measure of the surface area of surface A. This is A. 2 dr by r. Therefore, dr by r comes out to be A by 2. Substituting in this case, dv by v, that is 3A by 2. Answer is 3A by 2. Right? Answer is 3A. A is the correct answer. Right? Next question. What is the dimension formula for AB minus 1? Using in the equation. Now, concept applicable. Concept applicable. Two physical quantities. Physical quantities can be added or subtracted if they are dimensionally same. Dimensionally same. Means dimension of P, that is pressure, equal to dimension of A upon V square. V is the volume. Right? P, force per unit area, MLT minus 2 upon L2 right equal to a upon volume l key power 3 that is l becomes 6 right this becomes l4 then this one m l5 t minus 2 this is the dimension of a right and v minus b the so dimension of v equal to dimension of b that is dimension of B will be L cube. Now we have to find the value of AB minus 1. AB minus 1 that is A upon B. A is ML 5 T minus 2 upon L 3. ML 2 T minus 2. Final answer is this. Let's see the options available. ML 2 T minus 2. A is the correct answer. Now I have discussed this session seven question, almost completing the what is the significant, what is the rounding off, how to find the dimensions, what is the principle of homogeneity, what is the relative error, right? All are very, very important for J main, need and other examinations, right? Now I would like to request 
If you are new to my YouTube channel, set a swift turn and like this video. Please subscribe and share the channel and press bell icon to receive updates on concept killing videos and existing concept killing videos on YouTube channel, set a swift turn. Thank you.